Hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. This right here is the iPhone SE first generation in this beautiful space gray color. We're gonna be reviewing this phone in 2023, seeing what type of things are still working after almost seven years since this phone came out. Now, this iPhone SE in particular is running iOS 9, which sort of makes it rare. We'll get into why that is in just a second, but just a quick look around the phone. It's in fantastic condition. This was an open box model. It did not actually come with the box itself, but it did come with a little plastic wrap which I already took off and the seller is actually still selling many of these on eBay. You guys can check it out in the description box below. I'm not paid to say this, but the seller does have a lot in inventory still. Feel free to check it out. It's pretty cheap, not too bad. And the first thing I usually like to do with these type of videos to really get this phone working is to just put a SIM card in it. So I popped a Verizon SIM card into this device, but unfortunately this phone did not activate. It did say searching for a couple seconds there, but no signal, which makes sense. The SIM card is very old. And I would actually urge not to put a SIM card into a device like this because this phone is running iOS 9 and this phone is also immune to the iOS 9 activation issues. So for those who don't know, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE both of these devices will not activate on iOS 9. The problem is, we don't know, Apple will not publicly make a statement as to why this happens, but this issue only affects A9 Apple devices. So the A9 includes the iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S. So unfortunately, this device will not activate if you factory reset it, which is super, super weird. But fortunately, this device already came pre-activated and that's what makes this phone pretty rare. But overall, this phone still works. You know, we're able to unlock it, we're able to set up Touch ID. I also managed to log into my Apple ID, like my personal Apple ID. So this is the one that I use to download all my apps off the App Store. And what's really cool is on iOS 9, you can actually still download some old applications, but of course, it's gonna download the latest version of the application for that specific iOS version. So in this case, um, you're gonna be downloading a pretty old version of these apps. Um, and in most cases, these apps will not be usable. Like I just downloaded Zillow here and Zelle as well. Um, these apps are not usable and I highly do not recommend using any banking apps on outdated software. It's not a good idea. Now, overall, using this device really makes you realize just how small iPhones really used to be. You know, comparing the iPhone SE against the 5S, you can see that there's so many similarities here. Of course, we had the dual flash on both devices, the Apple logo in pretty much the same spot. The SE did have the little SE badge at the bottom and the 5S had the regulatory stickers. Um, but other than that, you know, it's a pretty similar and familiar design. And of course, when we bring the iPhone 5 here, it's also a very familiar design here. And it's interesting that Apple pretty much stuck with this design for such a long time. It's a very iconic design. And it's nice to see that a lot of people are still using the SE today. If you think about it, the iPhone SE was really Apple's first ever budget smartphone. Of course, the iPhone 5C did come out a few years prior, but the iPhone 5C used the iPhone 5 specs, so it wasn't really a flagship smartphone, but this was the real deal. It was fast, it was snappy, everything was just buttery smooth with iOS 9. It's nice to see that we have this phone here running iOS 9 today. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below if you guys are actually interested in buying this phone for your collection. Um, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, this was the iPhone SE first generation. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys on the next one.